This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. I, I think a part of it is that Lois is just too fucking mean to get the COVID. So I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, here's won't the deal. Get any, anywhere near. You won't get the COVID. The COVID will get the Lois. Mm, there you go. And as you know, once you get the lowest, your life mm-hmm. ain't ever the same, buddy. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. She threw that thing on you and it was all downhill. Yeah. And then 40 years later, as a matter of fact, uh, she and I talked yesterday, our 40th uh, anniversary, by the time this drops, will have come and gone. Uh, no, it will not. Sorry. The 40th anniversary of when we met will have come and gone. Hmm. Um, so uh, we, uh, we met, we kind of mentioned that in passing the other day. Happy anniversary. I said, it's not June yet. She said, oh, we met 40 years ago today. I went, could have killed myself then and saved myself some pain. Um, My grandfather so- recently, not recently, but before he passed away, uh, I had a real conversation with him when I was trying to learn. You know, I think everybody gets to a point where they just know grandpa is grandpa. But then yep. when you really want to learn about the man. Mm-hmm. You have like a, a private conversation one day and he says, uh, I said, so, Hey, I just trying to understand how are you married to grandma for decades? And then you got divorced mm. and he said, son, I realized around our 25th anniversary that if instead of marrying her on the day we did, if I'd have shot her. I'd have been out by now <laughs> and I'd have had my freedom but now because I didn't shoot her, I don't have my freedom mm-hmm. and my sentence will continue. Mm. And I decided I should just hit the eject button <laughs> and I love your grandma. Mm-hmm. I started being in hell. Mm-hmm. So I made a better decision. Yeah. Sometimes, and I, uh, and I didn't really understand that at the time mm-hmm. I've been married three years now. I'm starting to put, I'm starting to figure it out. (laughs) Three. (sighs) Well, you just never know what life's going to bring you. And it's brought me a lot of joy. However, going back to our original comment, uh, once I get the the second vaccine, I'll go out more because basically, uh, because with the exception of going down to Jacksonville and running out to the grocery store and or the doctor and or to get my medicines, I pretty much lock myself here in the house. I don't do much at all. Don't travel. My sister and her husband, you know, they're much older than I am and they're in their eighties and I love to go see them. They've had their shots, but I've kind of stayed home. So, so maybe once the second vaccine gets in and by the way, the first vaccine was fine. No problem at all. No, uh, no ill effects. And, uh, so then maybe I'll, uh, I'll get out more. So maybe you'll see me in Huntsville soon. I hope so. Yeah, I, I I miss you guys. I really do because we we certainly do have fun. I regret it the next day, <clears throat> but we certainly have fun. Hey, um, you know I'm turning forty this summer. Yikes! Do you think you'll have the vaccine by then, and you'll be able to hang out and uh, fellowship? Yeah, I'm going to have the vaccine. I've already got I've already got the second shot scheduled for the uh, near the end of April. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. The 40, whew, that's going to be a blowout, isn't it? Well, the original plan was to do like a family thing and then to do a guy thing. Mm-hmm. You don't want to come to the family one, but the guy thing, we might have diamond there, some dot mellow yellow. It's going to be a big time. Diet mellow yellow. It's not available anymore. Oh, I can get it. Oh, I'm sure you can. If anybody can get it, you can get it. No, I mean, I, I'm so good at getting things. I haven't got the COVID. So maybe I'll just get up with it. Maybe I'll just fund a couple of, uh, airline tickets from Florida to Huntsville. Like rebel. Oh, Dr. Oh, Baker, you need Dr. To, Baker. You need to quit talking. People can hear what you're saying. Right now. <laughs> well, she's a friend of the show. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I will say this, what you just described is sort of akin to, um, this old guy I used to know said, son, that's like bringing sand to the beach. <laughs> You'll figure it out later. Huh. All right. You ready? 
I am Ray. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.